one platform, any website. Unlimited creation.
Wow. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I'm back. Hopefully, you are all having a good day. I. Ooh, I am also having a good day. So, yeah. What's up? What's going on? Let's check the news, shall we? Let's see, let's see if there's anything worth talking about that shows up in my For You page. Hello, Broly. How are you? Welcome, welcome. <clears> hmm. <throat> Hmm, all right. So, yeah. Today I'm making Unish Challenge some shit. Oh, cool. Very, very nice. Hopefully, that goes well. Um. So, yeah, what's going on? Yesterday. Uh. What did we even do yesterday? We played around with the Linny rig for a bit. Um, yesterday I made this <laughs> when I was watching your stream. Oh, let me check it out. Hold on. Uh, what the hell? Oh. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, damn. Mm -mm. Sorry, I was watching the video showcasing showcasing the I guess what would you call that a jet? I guess is the closest thing to to what I could refer it to. Very cool. I like that. <laughs> I like that it has little grabby hands inside of the uh what would you call that the cargo bay or whatever what was I what was I saying <laughs> I call it a portable crane that's probably the the more technical term I don't think uh Someone would say grabby hands. Uh, so yeah, what, 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 what did I say? Um, yeah, we did some things there. Um, Nothing much, really. TBH. And then afterwards, we played some Sky. Yeah. All we did, though, was really, like, animate a jump. Um, it wasn't even that, like, I guess, complex of a jump. TBH. Hmm. You complete it. Apart from what I did on stream, I haven't really touched it. TBH. I was doing an stream for a challenge. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hopefully that goes well for you. The jump animation it gave isn't my type. Okay. I think it did say that um you're able to like make your own as long as it sort of stays in the style of I guess parkour esque movement. So there's always that. I just started end the same. Oh, I should be the same. I can add new animation in mid. Okay. Very nice, very nice. All right, so, yeah. Yesterday, I said that for today, we are going to go and do do probably some, some picture taking. Uh, try to, you know, get some images and stuff so that I can post it uh, and all the various things. Um... Wait, what is this? Oh, right, I forgot. Get some pics in Blender. Get some pics in VR Chat. Um, and like I said yesterday, I might have to like go in and fix some things with the uh, Water Doe file version because it doesn't have the the Poyo Me shaders attached to it. But at the time of me making it, I kind of just wanted to like. You know, I was kind of like, it's done. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Um, and I kind of want to fix it before I take pictures of it. Because uh, otherwise, I'm not showing what I can do, what can be done. Uh, so I need to do that. Uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to take. I don't think it should take too long. TBH. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Uh... So we'll do that today, however long that takes. Um, and if you finish that a bit early, I do have a few, uh, I guess, you know, yesterday I pulled up some animation videos going over, I guess, things to do with Blender and animation that we didn't end up actually watching. Um, we could go through those later today. And then obviously yesterday I mentioned that... Uh, for the after art section, we'll we'll try out Gigantic, the game that became free today on the Epic Game Store. Um, I loaded it up to see if I had to like change anything, but it immediately throws you into like a tutorial, so I quickly exited out of it. Uh, but yeah, I mean we'll check we'll check it out. Check it out, check it out. It is free at the end of the day. Uh, so yeah, but... Animation... Wait, what? Oh, I know. You didn't get both. So, yeah, I got both of them. It's just, uh, Gigantic is the one that I want to I wanna play on stream today. I think Callisto said it was, like, a horror game or something. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. But I'll still keep it because a free game is a free game at the end of the day. What are you saying? Uh, but before we begin on that, I do want to uh show something new. Ooh, something new. Ooh, something new. Ooh, um, 
yeah. I figured, why not today? Why not? Um, yeah, we'll look into it. So let's take a look, shall we? Oh. Oh, I, I realize that the, the screen is darker, actually. I'm using like a darker purple. All right. Let me, let me activate Blender. So yeah, a little bit of a different overlay sort of thing. Um, of course, here on screen, you can see that I have changed, updated even, the Goblin model that I was using. Like, like I've said before, the, I guess, now old Goblin model is based off of a game uh, a game called Peglin. So I wanted to, you know, I guess do something a bit different. Still have the character be a little goblin, but, you know, make it, I guess, a little bit different so that, you know, <laughs> I'm not just like ripping it off or whatever. Um, and so, yeah, this is what I came up with. Oh, let me hide the camera, actually. Why the camera in the face? Oh, no, let me also move this. Not that. This. So, yeah. We got the little little goblin character now. Uh, new, new and quote-unquote improved, I guess. Uh, he's a lot smaller, obviously. He's not slim. Ooh, what? He's a lot simpler. Because, yeah. That's what I wanted. And also, God, the, the sort of body shape that the old Goblin model had wasn't my favorite. And also the rigging broke at some point. I don't know. It's very old. And I haven't really touched it too much uh, since I've made this little guy. Uh, but yeah, here he is. Gob, 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 oh, Bob, Bobbo. It's supposed to be Gobbo. Gobbo 2.0 is here. Uh, you can see the, the rig that I have for it. Actually, where is the rig? Oh, here it is. Very simple. Um, a couple eye bones, a lot of, uh, ear bones, um, hand, foot, he has a nose too. Um, and yeah, and he's a ball. Uh, if I go into pose mode, the head and mouth or i guess at bottom are like removed from each other they are not connected because that's what i wanted in terms of like i guess movement um so yeah very nice very cool uh i gave him some shape keys very basic one he has a mouth open and the blink is very simple <laughs> i just uh shrank the uh or scaled the eyes to zero on the what is it y-axis or whatever that's how he does the blinking uh for now at least uh i couldn't really think of a way to like make it look like he blinked uh and this is just like a very quick solution from the front you can't it looks good because the eyes disappear but yeah you should use audio to face to create blend shapes for it audio to face I don't know what you mean by that. Audio to face. Hmm. I don't know if you mean this, because obviously, NVIDIA audio to face. Oh, I don't know about that. TBH. What was I going to say? Uh, I do have this, however. The new and improved, as you can see, the goblin isn't there anymore because, bam, new and improved uh, animation, I guess, that reacts to my mic. We got, we got movement because, you know, the old goblin didn't do anything apart from blink. Um, 
And so yeah, we, we got movement now. I guess the the only <laughs> the only uh, one thing that I realized is that the mouth still moves um, even if I mute the mic because uh, I guess you know there's still sound going on. So if I were to mute now and just like clap, you could see that the mouth still shoots up and down. Side view of character maybe like thirty degree on right. Wait, what do you wait? What do you mean? Side view character maybe like thirty degree on right. Tilt the character. Oh, you mean like tilt tilt the character so that it's like pointing towards the screen or something, or I guess pointing left towards the the blender that you can see. Yeah, maybe I'm okay with it looking straight at you. <laughs> I can see you. So yeah. From here on out, this is how uh, the the sort of layout is going to be. Um, so get used to it. Oh, you know what? One thing that I don't wait. Hold on. Just to switch back real quick. I don't think I have um, my filters on that one. I think. Hold on. Let me check. Maybe it saves it. Maybe it's not like scene spaced. Oh, it's not scene spaced. Okay, never mind. I was making sure. But yeah, that's the one thing that I I uh, I, I knew I had to check. Um, but just kind of forgot. But doesn't it look there from your own? Yeah, I, I I said I I talked about that. How like the old the old goblin model was a. Um, I made it based off a game, a, a, a game character, uh, from a game called Peglin. Yeah, and so the idea was that I wanted to make something similar to the, like, a, a sort of goblin-esque character, but obviously, you know, make it different enough that, uh, I guess I could sort of keep it as my own and not really, like, have to worry uh, about that stuff, I guess. Um, so yeah. And also, he's a lot simpler now. Um, I wanted to use this little guy for animations and stuff and sort of have it as a bit of a stand-in, I guess, uh, for things that I want to do with myself. Uh, I do need to update a bunch of stuff, obviously, uh, regarding the character. A lot of my stuff is still using the old one. I'll get to that. I just wanted to show this off and, you know, put it out there. Because, you know, if we're going to do animation stuff, this is the little guy that I want to use for animations. Um, since, like I said, the rig is simple. Um, and so we could probably play around with it a bit more. Before we move on to, like, a, a humanoid-esque character. So, yeah. That's about it. He's a bit silly. I like him. And I'm just showing him off in Blender. I've made him. Uh, obviously, so yeah, I also want to show him off because obviously uh, with him being made like this, then, you know, any future events, any future things that I make, uh, I'll be editing this model. Because, you know, the old model had, um, especially like in the holiday era, had like a bunch of costumes. Um... Christmas trees, pumpkins, whatever. I don't think I made a pumpkin one. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> it was so long ago. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be using this model now for all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's about it. Um, we'll probably come back to this, 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 this Blender file. Um, especially adding some 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 things to make it a bit easier to control 
maybe some IK on the on the on the ears and hands. Um, I think the, the the yeah feet fly off. The head is not attached. Uh, the bones in the hand stretch out, which is what I wanted. I wanted each bone to sort of be disconnected because I wanted it to sort of be as if he could sort of stretch out his hands however he wants. Um, God, what happened? Oh. And then the eye bones. Move the eyes. We've got a nose bone. His nose is a lot smaller than the last one. But it does stick out from the side view a little bit. You can see the, the bone movement. Oh, God. Um, yeah. A little foot movement there. Your stuff. Maybe not that one. Cool stuff, overall. So, yeah. That's, that's what we're going to be working with moving forward. But anyway... Uh, back to what we were doing yesterday, Linny Tri Animation. So, like I said, we're gonna spend some time now uh, capturing some images and stuff for. Oops, that's not what I wanted. For Linny, you know, show her off a little bit. Uh, capture some images so that I can later on post them on, you know, social medias or whatever. What is this looking at? Oh. Oh, I think I was doing the whole, like, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Sorry. It's, I think it's the first person mode that like like tricks my brain into thinking I'm playing a game or something. Uh, I'm I'm gonna stop that. Let me let me disable that. It's a bit annoying to to deal with sometimes. I don't think that's 90. There we go. Use Alt F for better camera control. Oh, isn't Alt F my my first <laughs> my first person mode? Oh shit! Fuck! I did it again. Oh, wait, I guess I do have to move it back a little bit. It's not completely capturing her. Zero on numpad to go to camera. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I wonder if I have things set up correctly here. Oh. Let me make a new folder for, um, for images. Oh, God.
All right. Ooh, actually, hold on. We're in EV. Where is it? No? Oh, yeah, here it is. Transplant. Transparent. Also make but oh you're right if if I'm doing it in Blender I should do that. Let me let me set that up. I think there was I had an add-on. Maybe I should enable it. That sort of like did it with one click. Um. I set it up like very easily. I mean I already know how to do it. The add-on just makes it quicker. Easy without it also. Yeah. It is quicker though. Um I guess I'm I'm questioning whether or not I want to go through the trouble of like editing the outline. I guess I could try. Let's set it up first, I think. They changed the, the things around here a bit in four point whatever. Um, as indexed. Right? Or am I being dumb? I guess I'll be dumb. Oh wait, oh yeah, the back face calling. You used to just be able to turn it off or on, but now you can choose between camera and shadow. Like, of light. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how it works. Just turn on camera. You're good to go. Okay. <laughs> she looks terrifying. Wanna, I want to see her eyes because the back face, uh, not the back face calling. Sorry, the the sort of outline thing does make her eyes go completely black, um, mostly because of the way you know what's it called. The normals are on the eyes. Um, what if I do that? Okay, keep that like that. Okay. I do wonder. Let me see. Oh, what am I doing? Just out, uh, out. Wait, what? Did I spell it differently? No. Oh, wait, let me... Oh, what the fuck? Ooh, okay, wait, hold on. I did something dumb. My bad. I did it as a, as a shape key, not a vertex group. That's my bad. I was like, why can't I see it? Oh, 
Oh, wait, let me... There we go. Now you can copy paste this modifier on other objects too for I make or text max and apply that in modifier. Well, yeah, I haven't got there yet. Slow your roll. Mm -mm -mm. I was you to like do that. Is this like too much? Should I like make it smaller? What's up, point zero nine? You selected all maps. Yeah, because I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use it for like all of it. I selected right. Yeah. Not just for the eye. Mm, what am I using? Uh, oh, no saturation. Let me subtract. Oh, there it is. Oh, let me actually turn that up. Am I doing X on this? Oh, yeah, I am. You know what I could do? Hold on. Is it check Discord? You get them extra options for masking in edit mode. Let me see. Hold on. What the hell? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. I could have just done that. However. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I have uh, the shape key selected, my ban. Oh, you know what? I think I probably... Hmm. Push move to yeah, I know. The 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 eye doesn't have isn't assigned to the to the to the outline vertex group in edit mode. You can see 
here in the vertex weights it's uh it's at a zero but yeah it still comes out as as um as black for some reason Ooh. Turn off modifier for a sec. It is it it's definitely something to do with the modifier. But hmm. Did I maybe not? I should it also back face calling. I believe it is. Where's the eye? Oh, I guess it's on the... Where is it again? Face, I think? Yeah. Because for the eye... Hmm. Turn off camera shooting on eye. Let's see if that works. For some reason, the the eyes still still black. I guess. Hold on. Oops. Remove vertex mask, then check. Maybe that's the issue. All right, hold on. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm, it is bizarre. What smells it need to do? Hold on. I think maybe the easiest solution would be to like yeah right to to separate them from the oops why are they doing that though what the fuck i don't have anything oh right maybe that's why a bunch of these have like because <laughs> I showed off the, uh, the, what's it called? The, the live link face yesterday as well. Um, so all the shape keys. How do I do this again? How do I reset it back to zero? There's like a key bind I think you mentioned. Oh, backspace. I see. Oops. Wait, am I using backspace? I am. Oh, I need to like. Oh, okay. There we go. I see now. Maybe 
Maybe this will, will fix that issue. All right, let's try that again. Although she is, she's slumping. Why? Well, I guess it's, oh, because she's doing like the jumping animation or whatever. I assume that's what's causing it. Hold on, let me try to separate it. Okay, no, it's fine now. Yeah, I think it was just that. It resets back in edit mode. It's my bad. All right, let's remove the that. Oh. You can use up and down arrows to go up and down in shape keys. Oh yeah, right. Wait, let me turn off wireframe. I hate wireframe. With the, uh, what's it called? With the outline, it kind of looks like she has outliner or something. I've definitely seen people use this method to sort of reduce, oh, maybe, yeah, hold on. Let's get strong. To reduce the the weight like around the tips of like the hair and stuff to sort of um I guess make it look better. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna spend like that long trying to like edit it to to you know make it perfect. But we'll spend some time, why not? No harm, no foul, or whatever. Um In Geonode, you could set up better outline setup. Ooh. Which keys outline with same as far as you go. I don't think I care about anything else other than that. Maybe lip. I don't know what that is, but what's clipping? Probably the teeth or something.
Alright. What is this? Oh, whatever. Whatever, whatever, okay, um, wait, let me check something real quick, hold on. I wonder... Can I change this with... Not, like, breaking shit? Hold on. Alright, hold on, let me, let me look something up. Oh god, you know what? Hopefully when we go into VR chat to take some pics, hopefully my computer doesn't crash, because it did happen this morning. Uh wait, did nothing happen? Like I've said before, um Yeah. Unreal Engine, I don't know why. Well not Unreal Engine, sorry, easy anti cheat. I don't know why I said Unreal Engine. Why, why, why is nothing happening? Hold on.
Oh, do you think that? Oh, wait, hold on. All right, hold on. Let me check. I don't think. You know what? Whatever. I'll do this later. Um. Alright. That's fine. Yeah, because things are... Hmm, they're being very slow for some reason. Actually, let me just... Hold on. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll look at that later. Um, actually, let me put on some music. Let me put Blender back on screen, too. Music. Music. Alright, give me one second. I will let BRB, and when I come back, I'll, I'll start taking some photos of her. We'll take a photo of her here in Blender. Maybe of her weapons. I don't know. I um, feel like that might be too much to post. Maybe uh, maybe for the art station, but probably not for the for the, for the Twitter stuff. Anyway, I'll BRB. Whoops, I don't have a BRB screen for this overlay. Let me <laughs> let me go get get it. Oops.
There we go. Okay. There be. Alright, I'm back. This is... at it right now. See, we're using the geometry node instead of the solidify node. Why is everything selected? Also, why is this turned on? Oh god. Alright. Uh what was it doing? Alright, let, let's let's take some pictures. Now maybe oop shit, that's a bit too close. Is it a good pose though? I don't know. I think her hands are like weird. What am I doing? She's A posing.
How does that look? Because you're still here. Oh, my bad. For some reason, when I, I render her out, first of all, she's not in the position she's in. She's back to her default position. And then also her eyes are, are still black, even though technically they shouldn't be. What is that? Oh, because I still have this. I'm going to remove that. All right, yeah, her eyes are now purple, but... Yeah, okay, frame, maybe... Um... I think it should be fine. Back in the rest position whenever I, I I render her out. Where is that? Oh, so you sent me something else. Oh, I said two lines playing. It's weird because her weapons are in the right position, even though they aren't on screen right now. They're still being rendered out. Um, because I haven't disabled them yet. But yeah, why is that bizarre? What am I trying to do? Oh, it's because the armature for some reason isn't. I must have done that by accident. Ah, oh, there we go. I wonder if I should maybe make the camera like this so it captures her in long ways. I don't have to have the camera so, zo so zoomed out if I do that. Oops. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, shit, it's capturing all the temps. 
Oh, oh wait, because I was animating there by accident. I have to make that. We have this. Bum, 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 bum. See me doing a fat line. Yeah, I'll check it out later. I do realize though that with the which has animated lines at distance based line thickness. Yeah. When I did have the, the, the weapons visible in the render, it, um, I'll probably have to, like, adjust her arm or something to show them off, because they're not that visible. I guess, let me, let me bring out the, the axe first. You can see just from, like, zooming in. It looks kind of, <laughs> looks kind of dumb. Oh, I hit her, her fingers, didn't I? Might want to adjust said fingers so that I can. So it looks like she's holding it a bit. I wanted to sort of like have it a bit oops, shit. have it a bit turned so you could see almost like the length of the of the axe, but I still want it to be in frame. Oops. Well what the fuck is going on with my mouse? Is my mouse acting weird? 
Yes, it is. Okay, now it's fine. That was weird. Yeah, I did. I'm just not using them. The whole like alt left mouse to to control the the middle mouse. It's gonna take some time to get used to, you know. It looks pretty dumb, but whatever. Oh wait, what? I believe so, yeah. Oh, why is it like behaving so weirdly? Whenever I exit out of the camera mode. Um, why, why is it this? Hold on. I don't think so. It's just whenever I go into camera for some reason my my rotation gets all weird. And why is it fighting me? <laughs> I think rotate the camera. Yeah, I wanted to. So that I can like capture her full body without having to like zoom in so far. For some reason when exiting out of it, it kind of causes my 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 movement to sort of break. It's really weird. Anyway, what was I doing? All right. For some reason, my renders are not coming out correctly. Why is that? Oh, I reset it. Damn. Yeah, one second. Uh, I guess because I wasn't on zero. Let me just try. It did. It did keep the the arm movement for some reason though. Really bizarre. Let me see if that saved. No, that didn't save either. Oh, because it went back to one. What? Change 1920 
Is that what I want? I don't think that's what I want. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait. Oops. Yeah, sorry. Because switching them just brings it back to where it was before I rotated it. And I could just rotate it if I want that. Like what? Oh really, why? I do wonder why this isn't working. I assume it's to do with the... with the animation. Sure. I'll do it in a bit. I'm trying to figure out why why is this working. It's, it feels like a bigger issue than worrying about the camera right now. Into your render. Yeah. Uh, basically what's happening is I'm, I'm trying to test it out. I'm moving her arm and then, you know, rendering the image. But then the image isn't changing. It's still at her rest position. Before the issue was that, um, the, what's it called? The armature didn't have a, wasn't being rendered. So you couldn't see the movement, but now, now it's not working regardless. It's really weird. I see that. No. Oh. I did, and it's still showing up on. Uh... How do I show it on here then? It's opening up a new a new tab to to show it to me. Do I have to like click on render or something? Oh yeah, we're here. Render. Oh, there we go. So yeah, as you can see, I moved her arm to the side, and then I hit render. But then she's still she's still in her sort of default position. I I assume it has something to do with the with the timeline or something. Yeah, I know. It's not, though, is it? Then then how, how does she have her hands down if it's turned off? The fact that their hand, her hands are down is, is caused due to the armature. Final render it is. Is it okay? It is okay for you for it. For fun, when it is, it is okay for you to put turn. Make sure you both turned on. Where? In the modifier? Panel?
show me bone. Have you applied modifier on bone what for the Animation. It's the jumping animation. So why is it so? <coughs> <coughs> why is it so laggy? I assume it's because of the animation, right? Let me try some other frame. Oh yeah, she is. Hmm. It worked. Uh, it did for when I looked at this, but I was already on on the animation for zero. Maybe I should just go to. What should I do? do that just so I could edit it hmm that didn't work though I can move the hand like up here. And then I hit render. You can see that it didn't do anything. Yeah. So it does have to do something with the animation. Would it be easier just to delete all the animation and then just go from there? I guess I don't want to... You're not making keyframes. Oh, that makes sense, actually. You're not adding new keyframes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it now. Alright. It's weird though, I didn't add any new keyframes for, um, what's it called? For, for, for her hand gripping the, the axe. But it's strange that one got saved, but not me moving the hand up. Bizarre. What do I know?
All right. So I had something like this. I want to I want to capture the the length of the of the axe. Oops. Oh, it's doing that thing again. It like flips my my mouse move or not my mouse movements my my camera movements. It's really weird. That's too far forward, I think. Or does that, will that fix anything? Whoops, I lost, lost control of it. Alright, a little more. That's about good, right? Oh. All right. Let me fix the that camera thing then before I I continue. Before I take another picture, I mean. There we go. I know, it's on purpose. Alright, there we go. Change background? No. Okay, I think this one's gonna be like huge. <laughs> yeah. Now, yes, it is now working. <laughs> that was the issue. The fact that I wasn't um, adding shape keys and just, just, uh, I, I guess, yeah, that makes sense actually. It means that, like, I guess the um, what's it called? The, the movements that I was doing wasn't being saved, like, at all. So it makes sense in my head. I wanted to hold it like you would a spear with two hands. 
I guess I could have done that with the axe. But shit, she can't really stretch her hand that far, though. Or two times. Oh yeah, for that. <laughs> I'm not very used to it. Hold on. Okay. That's a bit better. Alright, now to, to just adjust this hand. I think it's still a bit too far away. You know what? Her, uh, her other arm probably isn't like shaved perfectly for the spear, since the spear is a lot more uh, thinner than the axe handle was.
flip fingers. You can also do you thing I showed you yesterday, which is fun. Oh, right. Hold on. How was that again? I think I slipped everything. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the uh god what the fuck the control of it it's a bit uh I'm not uh used to it Bam! Power stance. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh wait, whoops. The way she's holding the <laughs> the sword. Wait, can you give me this model? Yeah, sure. Um yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I'm open to, to giving it away. Um at the end of the day it's just practice for me. How should I give it to you? Because I don't think I'll be able to give it to you via Discord. I'm I'm pretty sure this model is like way way above what whatever whatever it wants or whatever. Yeah, let me let me export it then. Oh wait, let me select everything. Hold on. Oh whoops. I could try. Oops. I'm just gonna export it as an FBX and try to send it through Discord. 
Oh, you use wet tran- wait, what? Wheat transfer. I don't know what wheat transfer is. Hold on. Let me see if Blender- Blender is okay with it. Not Blender, sorry, Discord. Did I call it again? Ah, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, this is it. Oh, no, that works. You can send a file with it and it deletes it after three days. Oh, it's like. <laughs> It's like, um, Snapchat, but for, for files. We transfer. Send large files fast, up to two gigs free. Secure way to send your files around the world with an account. Share your files, photos, videos, totally free. I need to do something real quick. And then I'll I'll pose uh, the sword next. Whoops, wait, hold on. Is it way a VX gave sure constraint? So big will not work. Oh. Wait, hold on. One second, one second. I need to, uh, I need to do something real quick. All right, so I just needed to email, email something. All right, wait. So. FPX for sure. So we will not work. Oh, so should I? What should I do instead then? Um, we're trying to use options and link a link. Hmm. All right, let me let me sign up for for WeTransfer. You don't need to sign up.
Wait, after... Oh, I see. Add file. What file should I add, though? If FBX doesn't work. They can be blend. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Without textures, the texture files will be big. How does that work? Oh, but I want it. I, I forgot that that isn't the the default pose with that with the hands down. That's my bad. I suppose. I haven't actually been adding any of my, uh, what's it called? Ooh, let me turn that off, actually. Wait, ooh, it's not letting me do anything. Oh, it's because I'm still in pose mode, my bad. Yeah, it's... Oh, wait, I forgot the axe one. <laughs> Which is holding with one hand. Uh, I probably should have moved the other hand there, but it's whatever. We live and we learn. 
They're like playing cards. My little, my little, my little dagger. My, my little cooking utensil. Alright, um... Alright, I'll pose the dagger. How should I even pose the dagger? I'll think about it. Uh, I'll be right back real quick. BRB.
Hello, I'm back. Uh, alright. What am I doing? Dagger. I need to adjust her fingers. Uh, because the dagger is definitely a lot smaller than... Than every other weapon she holds. Um. Hmm. All right. So yeah, I'll take a pick of the dagger and then we'll move on to to VR chat. And try to take some pictures of her in there. Oops, shit. Alright, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to, I guess, like, um, play out what, what, I, what I plan to do with, with this in my head by using a prop in front of me. Uh, just like a random ass stick.
what was her character name? Uh, she is Linny. Uh, L-I-N-I-E. From the anime Fear in Beyond Journey's End. Speaking, I was actually going to talk about this. You reminded me now that I'm... I guess... I, I don't know, mentioned the word anime. Um... Because, yeah, yesterday I mentioned, like, oh, you know... At some point we'll have to think about... Who who I'll be making next. Um... And, ooh, I guess... Spoilers? For, um... Jujutsu Kaisen, JJK. A little bit. Uh, if you're not caught up to the... The manga, uh, but five, four, three, two, Al Albedo, make Albedo. Who's Albedo? From who? <laughs> I mean, from where? <laughs> Albedo. Fraction of light that a surface reflects. Now it's probably isn't it. From Overlord. Oh, her! I haven't seen this one, but I've definitely seen her. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what she's supposed to be. I assume she's like a monster of some kind. She has like wings. But they're like not traditional wings. On the back, they're they're like a tail of a wings. And she also has horns too, demi-human. Anyway, I was gonna say, yeah, JJK spoilers. Um, but one of the people on my wheel was Nobara from JJK. And if you don't know, like I said, spoilers, cover your ears, but she quote unquote dies at some point in the anime, quote unquote, because not really. And it was only, I think, today where it was revealed that she's not dead, but she has an eye patch now. So very, it, it would be actually kind of funny if I were to make her and then just like add an extra an extra item you could switch on and off the eye patch. Um, although I think I should wait for that because she might like have newer shit to to show off. Obviously, I'm, it, that's gonna be a while before I start working on anyone. But I was reminded of that. Oops. Oh yeah, but speaking of you mentioning Albedo, you're able to suggest stuff, um, and if I like it, I will add it to the wheel of potential characters that I will make, maybe, maybe not, in the future. She's pretty cool. She has a, a very interesting design. Trying to find like uh well let me let me look up hold on. I'm trying to find like a reference image of her or something.
she also has a <laughs> a layered um a, a layered sort of um dress thing uh that i've had to do for like the last couple of characters uh that would be kind of a pain this reference sheet is pretty good though for the wings Also, a dragon made from Miskabayashi. Uh, which of the dragons? The the main one. Because I, I did do uh, Miss Kobayashi a long time ago. I don't think I did it on stream, though. She wasn't that great. I, I made her using, like, a... Uh, what's it called? A sort of um, preset that I made that wasn't that great, either. I don't even want to show her off because of how bad she was. Um, yeah, what was her name again? Hold on. Oh, wait, there it was. Toru. And then you said, check out her armored form. Is it the one that's all in all in black? Is that what you mean? That does look sick. Or I guess not black, but it's like purple. A, a very dark purple. Black esque. She wields an axe. That's really cool, actually. He does look very cool there. With and with and without helmet. Hmm. Not bad. Not. Oh god. Not a bad suggestion. I, hold on, I will add her to the wheel. Uh, wait, this is the good ones? Oh, wait, here they are. Where's the wheel? Oops, shit, not that. Okay. There we go. She's been added to the wheel. Um. And then what else? Toru. Correctly, Miss Miss Kobayashi had some pretty good character sheets. The one that Miss Kobayashi had was was pretty good. I guess if I were to make Toru, I'd be sort of tempted to make her dragon form, but that shit is huge. And also, uh, maybe, isn't there like a baby version? Or like a sort of like, less, less detailed version? <laughs> yeah, because it could get very detailed. It could go from very detailed to, to just like very very small and dumb looking yeah chibi that's what i mean 
I, lo I, I lost the word. I couldn't find it. Oh, because then there's also the 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 version of her where she was a baby. And of course, like, the little dragon form is, like, super small. I don't know. I'll think about it. Oof. The reason for why I, I want to think about it a little bit is because one of the things that I want to do before the year ends is I want to go back and redo one of my one of my old models that uh didn't turn out the best because you know I was still very new. Um I just need to decide on which one it is exactly, or which one I'm going to do. So, you know, so I could see, I could, um... Uh... I can sort of see the difference between what I made before and what I'm making now. Of whom, of, uh, I have a few options. I think I wrote a list down. Hold on, where did I put it? Is it here? No, it wasn't there. Hold on one second. Blender has been moved. Uh oh okay, yeah, here's the list. Oh the goblin. I already I already made the goblin. Technically I already did that, but you know, maybe I wanna do a much bigger character. One of them is Kobayashi, which is why I'm like should I do, should I put, uh, Toru on the wheel if I might remake, uh, Kobayashi? Uh, and the other one is Erika from Soul Eater. I made her a while ago. Um, I feel like I could do a better job at that. Although, to be fair, though, yeah. Er Erika was the first, I think, character that I brought into, like, Unity. And like made into like the art chat and stuff, I think. Um, or I, I think that's when I first tried to like make a character into like a sort of VTubing esque type thing. It's a toss up between those two, I think. I need to go back and see if there's there's probably some other characters that I missed. Um, but yeah, I would like to remake one of them. I don't know who. Uh, maybe I'll put it up to a wheel or something. Let chance decide. And then at the end, I can put them both side by side, and you can see the progress. You can see the, the hopefully, improvement that I've made. Although, maybe not. We'll see. fingers are kind of weird hold on specifically this bottom one here Is that one instead? Mm 
But I think I... Uh, I, I do want to... I don't know. If, if there's a series that I really like, I think it'd be cool to sort of make every character, or at least the majority of the, the more interesting slash uh, important characters. Alright, there we go. Standing still, holding the spear, holding the sword, holding the axe, a dagger. You can't really see the dagger though, it's so small. Um, yeah. I go to my pictures. Let me... Oh wait, I saw... Oh, that's the render I've opened. Let me close out of that. Let me close out of a few things. So now I want to go into VR chat. And so there's there there is a chance that um. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, why does it not show up? Alright, um, what am I doing? Let me open up Steam. What'd you say? Hold on, let me look it up. Moving statue from solo level. Oh, that guy. I haven't seen solo, solo leveling either, but I've definitely seen this image of that, that smile. The goddamn smile. And then that image too of that meme of all the people like the hell down down like praying to this giant guy in a in a, in a chair. People will surely use that on VR chat. I wonder if it's already been made. I mean, if we're going to VR chat, we could check, right? There's a there's a world that has like a gigantic catalog of um of models and stuff. I haven't checked it though in a, in a minute. It's been a while. Also, for some reason, my 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 children of light is updating or it has like it's patching something. How bizarre! Anyway, where was I? Your chat. All right, we are about to load VR chat. Uh, VR chat uh, uses easy anti cheat. Sometimes easy anti cheat causes my computer to crash. If my computer does crash, then I will be back when it is not crashed anymore. And we'll continue with the stream. Just FYI, my spiel about easy anti-cheat. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, Gigantic also uses e easy anti-cheat, so I'll probably have to make this spiel again later today. Um, if when we play that game. So fingers crossed, it doesn't crash. And then now that um she's uploaded, I could just go to the world that I talked about and take pictures there. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Or maybe if I wait. Ooh, what if I 
what if I trick it? Ooh, what if I wait? Oh, maybe instead of close game, what if I exit out of it? Okay, I might crash, just FYI. Ooh, I'm fine, actually. Ooh, I'm fine. Alt F3. It's not that VR chat crashes, it's that whenever there's an error with anti cheat, it causes my computer to crash. Um, I don't know why. It was weird, it didn't happen that time. There was an error, but it didn't crash my PC, so. Lucky me. Isn't it all F4 to, to exit out of a... Uh... Or... Wait, what am I thinking about? You are not giving intuition installing. I don't know if it is that. I don't know why it happens. But it's only an issue with games that use easy anti cheat. You are not giving anti cheat functional installing because I think it is kind of a volume system. I mean, it's weird then. Because it works sometimes with no issue, and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe? <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, everything is fine. chat on screen once it's finished loading uh but oh wait i need to wait i i think i need to grab it hold on i need to swap i need to swap back to the old one uh because i don't have game capture <laughs> 